must be off. Listen up, everyone. Do you realize who's before you? This is the exalted Adjutant General. Adjutant what now? Whoops, <laughs> I got carried away there. Uh, she doesn't have a royal pillbox or a cherry blossom tattoo to define her authority. My bad. Well then, Mr. Natsuki, please continue. Though it seems she's not this exalted adjutant general you think she is. <clears throat> That's right! She's no mere adjutant. She's our next ruler. Ruler? I remember hearing about this at the royal capital. There's supposedly been some rumblings surrounding the royal castle's decision to crown the next ruler. Yeah, that! This beautiful young lady is participating in that very same royal selection to become the next ruler. The Great Miss Amelia! Yeah! Uh, hey, Subaru. What? It's not something to keep hidden. You should tell it to the world. This is a good opportunity for us. But I didn't help these people as some sort of publicity stunt. Your humility is one of your greatest virtues, Melee. But you really should advertise your position more. Don't you agree, Rem? Yes. How perceptive of you, Subaru. Rem is quite impressed. You too, Rem? Anyway, it's the great Amelia who saved you all. Don't forget to tell your friends, family, and enemies all about her. Subaru, you're blowing this out of purport. Ah! Mili, what's wrong? Sorry about that. A bug just blew into my hood is all. I see, I see. Even bugs can't resist your charm and fly right towards you. Your beauty is a deadly sin, Mili. I'm sorry, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Hey, could that be... Yeah, what with her silver hair and purple eyes and those pointy ears. A silver-haired half elf. Huh? Why'd he get so serious all of a sudden? <laughs> you all right, Leah? Yes, I'm fine. I expected as much. Huh? What's going on here? Can't believe we were saved by that half devil girl. And she's a candidate for the throne? Hey, watch your tongue. They stuck their necks out for us. You can't deny that, no matter who they are. You say that, but doesn't that make you feel a bit conflicted? To be honest, I'm torn. Not to mention the fact that that half devil girl is a royal candidate. Mr. Natsuki, everyone, thank you for everything. You're leaving already? Yes, thanks to you, I've got all my cargo back. I just need to catch up on lost time and regain my profit in Gusteco. I'm sorry, I would love to buy you a drink to repay you for your help, but we are in a bit of a hurry. Think nothing of it. If you could just remember to tell everyone you meet about Melee, that'd be more than enough. Of course, you can count on me. Everyone may have gotten a bit nervous back there, but I'm rooting for you, Miss Amelia. It makes me so happy to hear you say that. Do be careful out there, Otto. Of course. I want you to know that they aren't bad people. I know they'll remember this day. I give you my word on that. No, it may not be worth much. No, it does put my mind at ease. Thank you. <laughs> well said, Otto. You sure have grown. How do you know about my life? I'm sorry, everyone. Oh, you're still around? I thought you had to take off, too. I do. But I can't shake this awful feeling about what happened earlier. Hey, don't worry about it. He's right. I'm okay, so please, don't worry yourself over it. Besides, we just so happened to pass by and help. 
There's no need to feel like you owe us anything. Things may have gotten a little weird because of Subaru's ramblings. But I already knew my candidacy to the throne would be no easy task. Please, don't beat yourself up. In fact, I'm grateful for having met someone like you. Grateful? But you were the one who saved me. I should be grateful to you. <laughs> Isn't it kind of funny how that worked out? She's the one who's thankful for having met you. You want to show her your appreciation, but she shows you hers instead. Kind of throws you off, doesn't it? But that's Mealy for ya. Besides, I want to thank you too. I feel like everything we did was worth it for having met you in the end. You at least support Mealy becoming the next ruler, right? Of course. You have my full support. And I believe my caravan will offer theirs as well. Please come visit us sometime. We'll introduce you to our leader then. You're right. We'll have to put that on hold for a while. What is it, Subaru? Are we ready to depart for the Royal Capital? Right! Yep, we're heading to the Royal Capital, all right. Here we come! Yes! Let us be off, Subaru! We finally made it to the capital after all that, but... There are so many people... <laughs> you guys are awesome! I can't thank you enough for defeating those Dusk Bandits. Thank you so much for avenging my husband. We just happened to be passing by. I'm glad we managed to bring you some peace of mind, and... Mealy looks like she's lost for words. Everyone seems to have heard of our accomplishment already. Did one of the traitors we helped tell them the news? Certainly goes to show how infamous those bandits are, I guess. I didn't think it'd be such a big deal. Though, I didn't really help out much myself. Thank you so much. Everyone is much more at ease now. Huh? Oh, it was nothing. Um, judging by your outfit, are you a nun? Oh, um, pardon me for being so rude. After hearing of your great deed, I wanted to personally give you a word of thanks. It saddens me deeply whenever I hear of someone having been harmed by the Dusk Bandits. The citizens have nothing to fear any longer. I cannot thank you enough for what you have done. Yeah, she's right. It's true. Miss Amelia, thank you so very much. Huh? Oh, um... I only did what anyone else would do. Well, you heard her, Mealy. This is another chance to sell yourself up. Give them your biggest smile and shout out, Victory! Victory! Uh, Subaru, you jerk! This isn't the time for that! Anyway, listen up, everyone! Please keep Mealy, no, Miss Emilia in mind, and show her your support in the upcoming selection! Now then, Miss Emilia, Subaru, Rem will prepare your lodging arrangements. Oh, right. Thanks, Rem. Remember who's staying here, so make sure to get an in fit for a king. Oh, stop that. Rem, pay no mind to Subaru. Do you know the inn Roswell usually stays at? 
That will do just fine. I apologize, Subaru. I did want to do as you asked of me, but... Don't give me those puppy dog eyes! Besides, the inn Roswell stays at is pretty pricey too, isn't it? I'll walk around the royal capital with Neely in the meantime. There's someone I'd like to pay a visit to anyway. Alright then. Miss Amelia, please take care of Subaru. Yes, leave him to me. I won't take my eyes off him. Shouldn't it be the other way around? Looking for the shopping district? It's straight ahead. Whoa! This place brings back memories. Yeah, this is definitely the royal capital. So, Neely, is there anywhere you want to go? It's been a while since you've been back here. I suppose it has. But it's actually only been about two months since we met. There's no need to get so excited. Aw, don't be like that, Neely. The time we've spent together has really flown by. I just want to cherish every moment of our return. So let's have some fun with it. Yes, yes. Though I don't need to go anywhere in particular. What about you, Subaru? Why, yes. There is somewhere I'd like to go. Where is it? It's a place where I can fulfill a promise made between men. If you don't mind, want to tag along? Yes, that's fine. Let's go together, then. Okay. Look out, scary-faced shopkeeper. We're on our way! Crusade's manner. It's too early to go see her. This way, Neely. Let's go to the shopping district. Okay, okay. There's no need to rush. Here, hold on to my hand. Hey, Melee, I'm really having some mixed feelings about all this, so why don't we stop this thing? Absolutely not. Knowing you, Subaru, you'll just go off on your own and do something weird if I let go of you. I won't allow you to walk around by yourself while we're in the royal capital, so I absolutely refuse to let go of your hand. Understand? If I'm being honest, I feel more like a child when you hold my hand like this. Really now? You couldn't stop talking about how much you wanted to hold hands when we went on our date in the village. Well, I was way more prepared for it back then. I'm not really feeling it right now. Besides, my hands are getting really sweaty. I hate to say this to the heroes who defeated the Dusk Mans, but could you stop being so dang lovey-dovey in front of my shop? I don't want to deter any potential customers from stopping by. Aw, oh, come on! Don't shrug us off like that! I was pumped up to fulfill my end of the bargain, but it's like you've completely forgotten. You're the first guy I talked to in this fantasy world, so I'm here to return the favor. I really don't know what you're going on about. We only talked for a hot minute about a month back, right? I kinda remember, but... Subaru, don't be unreasonable. Sir, please don't pay him any mind. I followed along because you wanted to say hi to someone who took care of you. I never would have guessed it was a one-sided promise on your end. I can't believe you. You can't make light of a pact made between men, Melee. You're still asking for too much. Don't you have any idea how many people these shopkeepers have to keep up with daily? Never overestimate someone, Melee. The shopkeeper with such a scary face couldn't possibly have such a thriving... Ow, ow, ow! Sorry, I'm sorry! Please don't pull on my ear! Don't be rude! Yes, ma'am! 
Oh, right. That pathetic display of yours just reminded me. You're that kid who didn't have a single coin on. That ingrate who left without buying it. Setting aside what triggered your memory, I said I came back here to repay you! Calm down. Man, to think you were with the group who fought off those bandits. Here, that apple I promised you. How many are you gonna buy? They're usually two bronze coins, but being a hero and all, I can give you a discount. Go big or go home, so I'll take ten. Consider it interest and waiting so long to pay you back. Don't worry about the discount either. Uh, Melee? Why are you taking out your wallet? You can't pay him without money, right? That's not what I mean! Hey, now, are you really gonna make the lady pay for you? Kinda makes you look like a deadbeat, don't you think? Oh, come on! Did you not just hear me trying to pay for it myself? Maybe if you cleaned your ears out every once in a... This guy's up to something. Where I come from, cops would be all over you, even on Halloween. That's a bit much, don't you think? I have feelings too, you know. Hmm? Halloween? Al, what are you doing playing around here? You have some nerve leaving me unattended. Oh, my bad, princess. I just happened upon something interesting and couldn't help myself. as an excuse? Do not forget your position as my personal jester. Know that if you do, your head will be separated from the rest of your body. Yeah, yeah. These two are something else, I gotta say. <laughs> Subaru, let's go. We have business to attend to. Hold on! I'm still in the middle of shopping! You there, commoner! What is that you hold in your hand? Huh? Are you talking to me? Who else is there? Answer me. So haughty. It's just an Appa, in all its unsold, leftover glory. Now shut it! This is an Appa? What foolishness. Huh? An Appa is a white fruit. It is not red like this one. Um, princess? Don't tell me. White? I mean, it is if you peel it. Oof. Wait. Have you never seen an unpeeled apple before? How sheltered are you? It is true that I have never seen one off the dining table. Shopkeeper, are you certain this is an apple? Yeah, I'm sure. Give me a sec. I'll prove it to you. See? It's white on the inside. Now? Not quite. Give it to me. I will check how it tastes. You think I'll just let you taste it for free? That's pretty brazen of you. Ow. Hey, Alrighty then. Here you go. Thanks for the purchase. But I'm gonna have to ask you to leave once you're done. I've got a business to run here. Yes, this is indeed an Appa. Shopkeeper, commoner, it seems you have both eluded death for the time being. What exactly were you gonna do to us if we were lying? Come on, Subaru. Can we go already, please? Wait, hang on, Melee! You're gonna stretch out my sleeve! What? What's wrong? You've been acting weird. Shopkeeper, these are all apples that are on display, correct? Yeah. I shall purchase them. I will 
I'll take everything you have. Now hold on just a minute. I was here first. These apples are a testament of a promise between him and me. I don't know about all that, but it's true that he was here first. You'll have to wait your turn. Fool. You misunderstand me. What now? I told you I will take everything. Your apas, your wares, and everything else you sell. I will purchase it all. What? All of it? That is correct. I will be taking every single one of your wares. Al, his payment. Here you go. Thank you kindly. Everything's sold out for the day. Hey! Sorry, bud. I'm closed for the day. Come by some other time for those apples. Sorry to say, but I never really promised you anything. I'm moved by your sense of duty, but I do run a business at the end of the day. It only makes sense for me to prioritize other customers with deeper pockets. It's nothing personal. You two-timer! This shopkeeper merely understands the ways of the world. These apples all belong to me now. Damn it! After I came all this way to buy some, too. This little rat knows not its place. Trying to steal my apples from me. Weren't you the one who took them from me? I'm the victim here! What are you talking about? I have simply offered a payment to the shopkeeper to receive the requested products he sells. Whoever he decides to sell it all to is entirely up to him. Why, you? Buying your way in the world, huh? I never expected capitalism to rear its ugly head here. Hey, bro, there's no hard feelings here. The princess just doesn't budge once she sets her mind on something. Just think of it as a dog nipping at your ankles and let it go. Fool. No dog exists that is as beautiful as me. Don't get all carried away just because you're somewhat attractive. I've got someone just as beautiful right here, too. Hey, Subaru. Oh, yeah. Where should I have all your goods sent to, my lady? I will send a dragon carriage to pick them up at a later time. You may pack them upon its arrival. You got it. But can I get your name and residence? Just in case. I am Priscilla Barriel. You can call me Al, by the way. We live in that flashy mansion right past the plaza. You can't miss it once you're over there. I don't care about all that. And I still don't like that you took all his stock, either. Oh, don't say that. I have a feeling we'll be seeing a lot more of each other from now on. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Al, it is time to leave. Stop wasting such precious time dealing with that calm. Yeah, yeah. See you around, bro. I sure wasn't expecting that. I gotta put up a sign saying I'm all sold out. I'm really disappointed in you. You just sold your soul to that she-devil. The only thing I sold is my shop's goods. And did I hear you start calling her my lady for a second there? Unless I misheard you, you were talking way more formally just now. It's common practice for a businessman to show his more high-profile clients some due respect. I'd be calling you a lord too if you bought out my whole shop like that. Oh, I see how it is. Sorry about that, Neely. Since I can't buy any apples, let's just keep walking around. Yes. Priscilla and Al, huh? Just who the heck are they? Well, the Royal Capital's a big place, so I doubt we'll ever see them again. <laughs>